All right, guys. Welcome to part four of our unboxing of the new WizKids Monster Menagerie 3 Dungeons & Dragons pre-painted minis. So this will be our fourth and final brick. This, will, this box feels like it's about to explode. So, yeah. You know what? I think I'm going to save this one for last, guys. I think that's... There's definitely one in here we haven't seen, so we'll, we'll come back to that one. So I'm guessing most of the rest will be doubles. We'll get a few rares, probably. But. Yep. So, another uh, Cyclops, just like the last one we did. Another Gazer. Oh, here's a new one. You know what? Let's save. I think what we'll do for this one, we'll save all the ones that I can tell are new. And we'll do all those at the end. There's a piece off of something. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, I think it's to this uh, mace or Morningstar uh, flail. I always get those mixed up. Alright, another one of those guys. Like a magman. Yep. This, I believe, is another human bard. Yep. And another death dog. Over here, so I don't throw it away. So, another hill giant female. Regular Cobalt. Another Quadrone. And a Vampire Spawn. That was a pretty uh, unimpressive box. Oh, and looks like my wing has come up. This mod drone. Right. Another frost giant with sword. Another nil bog. Another null. <clears throat> and another goblin. Alright, we have 
three left plus the one with the really big guy. Another female stone giant. Another wear boar. Another bagman. And another cobalt. Red skirted Imperium. And another winged cobalt. Another magma method. This looks like a new one, so we'll save this one. Fire Giant Dreadnought. Another C spawn. Another Kuatoa. Try doing it. No clue. Alright, so now we'll crack open. This is the one with the really big guy. So we'll see what. I'm sure, we probably have doubles of these. Here's another Jibbering Mallard. That's cool. Thought I'd probably only get one of him. And this looks like a Mezaloth. Sturge. Nope, Gazer. Okay, so that leaves these last three. This, I believe, is a grill. Or some kind of spider. Oh, it's a uh, Neogi. <laughs> Neogi Master. Awesome. I don't believe I have any Neogi minis. One thing I will say about this uh, set I do like is there aren't a lot of flying creatures with the little flight stands that come off all the time if you don't glue them. So, happy about that. And this... Ooh. This would be a Ulitherid, some sort of uber mind flare. So that's cool. All right, and last but not least, 
we have a really cool three-headed Frost Giant Everlasting one. Actually, I'm not sure if he... He himself has three heads or he just has heads like hanging off of his shoulders. So he's got severed heads here and a dead polar bear and three more severed heads. So really cool. Another dead polar bear. Yeah, this guy doesn't mess around. So here he is next to a regular frost giant. About about the same size. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this unboxing, guys. Uh, hopefully you got to see everything good enough and uh, you'll pick some of these up. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the set. Uh, a little disappointed that we had, I think, four broken ones. Yeah, four broken ones. But they should all be fairly easy to fix. Cause I don't know, except for this wing on this guy, that's going to be tricky. Wow. Uh, Anyway, lots of cool minis in here, so check it out as soon as I hit retail. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.